Hi, Peanut here from Muzzy Loader Camp. I'm here at Yellowwood State Forest. I'm here at the shelter and picnic area. I'll give you a little bit of a view around it. Uh, I came up here to kind of check things out. I might do some backpacking up here and stuff, or uh, you know, some hiking at least, and maybe camp out. You're only allowed to camp in designated areas so you're not allowed you know to go out and step camp and if you cannot tell it is snowing pretty good yeah, so. i'll give you a little bit of a view of the area there's playground right there and stuff Got a little bit of view of the lake over here and got like a looks like a shelter and a maybe a little bathroom or something we'll go over here and check this out see what see exactly what it is uh, now it's locked up so it's got the public telephone I wonder if it's not just like a little uh, I don't know if it's, looks like it might be just a little office or something. Maybe this is a campground office or something. You know, there's a public telephone. Let's go check this out. This is something that you don't see very often anymore. Uh, watch out, that's a little, yeah, right, there you go. There's a old relic there. Uh, you got an auto? It actually does. <laughs> I actually work. I don't know how much it is. Now it used to be like, oh, I see it. It's 35 cents and then long distance coin calls are a dollar. So that'll be a old relic there you don't see them around since cell phones came out so and over there some bathrooms over there and stuff and we'll go on over here and i'll show you the shelter here in a little bit i'll get back with you okay right there's where we was just at and then Right here is the shelter. Picnic area and playground. There's no uh, camping beyond this point. And then we'll go back here and check out the shelter. See a name on there or anything if it has a name on the shelter, but you know, it's a pretty nice little shelter. We got a fireplace in it, uh, two fireplaces. Let's go. There's like a maybe it might have four fireplaces. No, you could build fires in them, I guess. This is the other side. We got a picnic table on that side. It's not the same way, too. That looks a little far pitch there. It looks like. Everybody left their trash. This is what I think of that. I'm going to take it and throw it away. There's a 
Nice view of the lake there. On this snowy afternoon. Well, let's say it with that said. Uh, my film hyperspace film coming in, so we'll put that on next and show how we got here and get back to you in a little bit. Bathrooms are right there. Here, let me zoom back out. I forgot to do that when I zoomed in on that sign. Right there is this. Got this little shelter thing here. I wonder if this is like a fish cleaning station or something like that. And there again, people. Then we have trash. You're supposed to carry out your trash, but I'll carry it out for them. And here's some more campsites. And this is a nice little area. Kind of wood. It's wooded. So I'll get back to you in a little bit. Just a little bit. We got Hickory Campgrounds, size 54 through 60. We'll go through and check them out and see what they're like. Looks like it just goes down in here and makes a little loop. That's, it was over here, there's that shelter we was at. Picked up that pop can. And uh, while we're on that subject, uh, it's got a nice bar pit in it. But back to the subject of uh, littering and you know, not getting your trash out and stuff. These people that do it, you could talk to them until you're blue in the face. And they're not going to carry the trash out. My thing is to compensate for them. Like, I know there's a lot of times that you go somewhere and there's just so much trash you can't carry it out. And stuff. But carry out what you can. And the next person that comes along, carry out what they can. And that'll evidently get the mess cleaned up and and uh 
make it a better spot for it, the next person maybe. And hopefully, you know, like I said, you can talk to you talk to them till you're blue in the face and you're not gonna change their attitude about leaving their trash out. But, but enough of us get together and clean up clean up their trash and there's red fine print ground. Get up and clean up their trash form. Maybe we can overcompensate them. Let's see who this. Okay, this is the horse camp and boat ramp. So let's boat ramp over here. Over here. Here's the horse camps. A three. There ain't very many. Very many horse camps. There's, there's toilets. Little houses. And there's your. Pretty nice fire pit. That one's kind of covered up. Tie off racks and stuff like that. Okay, this is, I guess, that's F. This must be uh, some more horse camping. Here. Little water fountain when you get water stuff, another pet. Yeah. Uh, I've always called them pet toilets, but I, I think the actual name is supposed to be. Uh, uh, come near a lake and try not to go fishing. So we'll get set up and I'll get back with you and see if we have any luck fishing. So back with you in a bit. Alright, we are at the bottom of the boat ramp.
have. I'm gonna get in cold. <laughs> this leg and I did got my coveralls on with me I should have put them on yeah. we gave her a try nothing happened so no fish again but we did wet some line that's that's all you need get back with you okay Right here by the boat ramp, there's a hiking trail. There's the boat ramp, hiking trail. We we'll have a trail. I wonder if it's the one that goes around the lake. And my brother Larry said there's one that goes around the lake. So I think he said he hiked it. I don't. I ain't quite sure about that, but I, I'll get with him and find out, and I'll let you know. All right, get back with you in a bit. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of Yellowwood State Forest. Um, I know there's a whole lot more to it than this, but this is kind of just like a little summary of it. Uh, really enjoy doing this video. And, uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you catch the next one. Ta-ta for now.